Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to OnHow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop on below in the comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. You already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop on below. I will be happy to make a video for you as well. Same as the over 100 videos I made now on Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Just a like button would be appreciated. I would really appreciate it. But if you are interested in being or willing to be an expert in Shopify customization, make sure to subscribe to the channel. It's completely free. I don't sell anything. I don't have any courses to sell. All the content I do provide is completely free. No membership, nothing like that. It's a win-win situation. What are you waiting for? Anyway, so in this video, I will show you how to add icons to the drop down menu on your Shopify store. And I mean each item with a different icon for your Shopify store. And this is a request again from one of my subscribers. And I was struggling with this code a little bit. I couldn't make it work, but eventually I, I did make it work. So in this video, as I said, I will show you how to set icons to each menu item on the drop down menu on the header. And we will do that without using any apps or anything like that by using our own code as always. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard and I have here a uh, down team, which is the team I do demonstration on. I mean, in the videos, I have 15 version, which is the last one as of now. But if I scroll down in here, I have other teams as well, which is states, uh, story taste, stands, refresh, spotlight, and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the trick behind the scenes on each one of these. I do demonstration, as I said, on down team, but for the trick, I do actually try it on all of this team. So I'd make sure even if you're not using down, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you the information you need in order to fix or do the thing you're trying to do. So let's just check out the header first. I mean the menu. So this one, by the way, if you are interested in adding the search bar like this, instead of search icon without having to click on it, make sure to check out my channel. I already made that video as well as the changing the color for the count bubble for the car. I already made that video as well and they were requests too. So no worries. Uh, as you can see, that's one what I mean. So let's just say we want the uh, shoes or jewelry to have an icon like before the jewelry, it will be an icon in here in front of it. That's what I'm going to do in this video. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action if it does work or not. And it will, no worries. So uh, let's just get back Shopify dashboard. And the first thing you're going to do is, as always, click on the three dots on left of customize, then click on edit code. And the next thing we're going to do is, because we need to find the specific file in here, uh, simply use the search bar at top left corner. And again, I have to keep mentioning this, but anyway, it will be either base.css or team.css or style.css. In some custom uh, made teams, it's gonna be custom.css but mostly base or style or team.css. In my case, I know it's base, so I'm gonna type in base, and here it is. So it's gonna be in assets folder, as you can see. So simply click on it, and here we go. A huge file, we need to scroll all the way down. Let me drag this, because we need to access the bottom of the file in here. Then we need a new line completely empty to paste in some code, obviously. In order to do that, simply click front of the closing bracket and hit enter on your keyboard. It's gonna access a completely new line, nothing on it. Because as I said, we need to paste in a code. In order to get that code, you need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then get back with you with you the code, then try it and see if it worked. No worries, I got you in that. Just scroll down the description box and you will see a link, name it as code. Click on it, then it will take you to this page right here where you're gonna see this code that will do the magic trick. Yes, this little code will do this. So as you can see here, uh, this is the category, which it says here, if you can see, it says menu name. Then again, menu name. And if you use your brain a little bit, I think you know what this does, right? So you need to change these to the menu name you need to set the icon for. And this is the URL for the icon in here. Let me first copy it so you can see it. So let's just copy it, open it in a new tab. Here it is. So this one should be for the jewelry, I guess. Yeah, let's just make it for the jewelry, as you can see. If you are wondering where I got this from, 
simply remove the URL in the code. Let's just remove the whole uh, like path for the URL. And here we go. You can find anything here. You can find shoes, anything. Just type in shoes. Here we go. Click on it. Then simply click on download PNG or you don't have to download. Simply right click copy. It's going to be the same link. Here we go. As you can see. So you can find any icon in here you want. You don't have to download it. Simply copy the code for copy the link. Sorry for it. And replace it. Replace it in here. Replace the URL with the icon you want. In my case, I'm going to keep it as this diamond because it looks uh, relevant to the jewelry. So I'm going to keep it. Then the next thing you're going to do, simply select the whole code in here. Then right click and copy. Actually, it's the first thing you're going to do. I would just explain in the things that you should change now after you pass it in here. So let's just pass it in here. As I said, menu name. So I want to change it to jewelry, as you can see. So I'm going to write here jewelry. Yeah, like that. Let me do that for the second one because there is two actually jewelry again. Just like this. That's not how you write jewelry, is it? No, no, that's not how you write it. God damn it. Yeah, okay, we're good now. I apologize for that. Embarrassing, right? Anyway. So jewelry, jewelry, Men two menu names you have to replace. And after that, the URL for the icon, as I said, I'm going to keep it as the diamond one. The next, simply click on save button. And after a couple of seconds, it's saved. It. We will get back in here, reload the page. And after that, if we click on category, check it out. It's showing an icon before the jewelry. So I think you know what to do, right? Simply, if you have like five or four menu here set each one with the icon you want and you just have to copy and paste the code and paste it below it and do the same and that's really simple right and that's how you actually add icons to the menu items i mean drop down menu items on your shopify store without using any apps or anything like that and it's completely free so if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one